In today's video, we race a unicorn. Tato was here, Adam drives fast, and I make a noise. Oh! Today's video is a bit special and an absolute blast. Let's get into it. As I said, guys, we have a true unicorn in this video today. God, I just love it. I mean, Tab, look at that. A scented 6S? I'm holding a scented 6S in my hands, guys. That's right, guys. A 6S Arma scented on Rec RC. You have no idea how thrilled I am. This truck was actually lent to us today by Mr. Adam. Thank you, sir. Here we have a 3S Arma scented. For anybody not in the know who thinks, well, what's the difference? One's just a 6S, one's just a 3S. There's a massive difference between these two trucks. We have a metal chassis. Plastic chassis, not there's anything wrong with that. The plastic chassis is one of the toughest chassis in the RC world. 6S system, center differential, front and rear chassis brace, nice inner cage for the body. And speaking of the bodies, of all the changes Arma made from the 3S to the 6S body, the one thing they should not have let go of that they did was that the 6S bodies were vented. This is a V2 3S body, and as you can see, it's not vented. And if any truck in the world could have used a vented body, it was the Arma sent in 3S. Because in terms of box stock top speed, these trucks are nearly identical. For the purposes of bashing and misbehavior, though, we're definitely going to be switching it to this body as not to destroy this absolutely beautiful 6S body, though it is a very tough, very thick body. While they look the exact same and they are of the exact same dimensions, this body is noticeably heavier and thicker and probably a good bit tougher as well. You could literally slice your hand on the 6S body pretty easily. Actually, maybe that's why Armor got rid of them. You'll see this body later on in the video, but for now, let's get to it. A common complaint about the scented 6S of the past is many considered it to be what you might call conservatively geared, to put it lightly. To put it plainly, it was what you might call tragically undergeared. But the beauty of hobby grade RC cars is that you can always gear them up and unleash a beast. As Adam and I were about to unwittingly find out. How fast is it? It is a 6S Sentin, so we're looking at ferocious acceleration. Here we go, guys. Now, unlike the 3S Sentin, this one's much heavier, doesn't lift as much. Whoa, my goodness. No parachuting, wow. We spun, but we did not parachute. Even though it's the exact same size as a 3S Sentin, it's a lot heavier. Whoa! All right, well, that's how you know it's a Sentin. What? It said you went 71 miles an hour. Does that have the speed pinion in it? He didn't tell me it did. It looked like a really big pinion gear. Bring that car back on over here. I need to look at that pinion gear. 71 miles an hour. We have got to see that again. It does get a little floaty at high speed, being a short course truck, but it doesn't parachute. All right, were you able to hold full throttle that time? No, no. Okay, so if it says anywhere close to 60, not being able to get full throttle, then I guess we'll say that 70 was real. 65 miles an hour, good God. That thing absolutely rips. There's no way that's not on a speed pinion. Guys, we have just confirmed that the stock pinion for this truck is a 14 tooth. That is clearly larger than a 14 tooth. It's mod one gearing. That looks just to eye it up, I'd say to be about an 18 to 20 tooth. And it absolutely makes a difference. This thing rips. That was so fast. Yes, it was. While it's sitting here, we just have to find out real quick how fast is a stock Big Rock 6S. Unless of course it's <laughs> geared up too and I don't know. Jeez, that'd be a full-on car crash if I would hit that other car down there. What a mean truck. See how fast that was? 56 miles per hour. Now that's not geared up, it's just on high C batteries. And that's about right. It's impressive to see that big thing going that fast. I really, really wish Arma would revive, at least for a limited time, the 6S Sentin. I don't think they understand just quite how sought after this truck really is to people and how fast that thing would sell out. It would be overnight. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. This is the heaviest 10th scale I have ever felt in my hand. In fact, it's not all that different in weight from this big, big rock. Okay, there is a bit of a difference in weight. And with no venting, it's still not parachuting. And that's because it's so darn heavy. But man, that really adds to its stability. Beautiful. Get ready for what might be the sloppiest drag race in history. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you know what? Acceleration wise, they were right with each other. Here we go again. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow, that was pretty good. We got about 132 feet. I think the scent and just edged that. 
Now we're going to do our big air drag racing. The rules are you've got to race across the field. You have to get all four wheels off the ground and you have to make it across the road. It doesn't matter if it's clean, sloppy, as long as all four wheels leave the ground and you're the first across the road. Some people think that big air drag racing is silly. Some people love it. So we're going to do it. Go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Land on the wheels. Oh, oh I guess it's a draw. Three, two, one, go. What a race. Big Rock takes that one, but that was close. Go. Goodness gracious. I can almost jump all the way across the road with that thing. Ha. Oh. That are completely invisible. You blew a tire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That sucked it right up. Well, it looks like the tire's in good shape. You can just re-glue that, yeah. but it got really sucked up in there. Look at it on street tires. <laughs> oh man, it's so mean. They could use a gyro, but other than that, it's just amazing. Now we're gonna do some more racing with another short course truck, another 6S short course truck and the Max Slash. Yes, there is quite a difference in size, but there is no difference in ferocity and power. That thing is an absolute monster. Go. Goodness, that's two fast, mean short course trucks right there. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh my God, I actually thought the center was gonna smash the max slash on that one. Go. Max slash takes that one. That was a much closer race though. Oh, Adam lost the wheel. <laughs> what the heck happened? Got to be the fastest RTR out of the box short course truck that there is. It has got to be. If there is one faster out of the box, let me know. But bear in mind, this can do 60 right out of the box. No gear change, no nothing. And now here's the moment you really wanted to see. We're gonna race the 6S Sentin against the 6S Max Slash. And as a bonus, we're gonna race it against the 6S Big Rock. Be looking out, this truck is gonna get its own video soon. This thing is wicked. All three of these trucks are gonna be spectacularly fast out here on this dirt. The only drawback for the Sentin is it's got massive, massive power and a comparatively small wheelbase, but it's still gonna be a total blast, especially with these super knobby Typhon tires on it. All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go. And they're off, making a lot of racket and a lot of dirt. Yeah, you can't, you can't see nothing out here with these. That was a close one. Max Lash takes the first one. Oh, crap. It is so dirty and dusty already. We've only done four laps. Look, they're invisible trucks, guys. There's one. What a mess. Oh, look at this. We made a sandstorm. We almost repainted the big rock just sitting here. Look at that. Go. Oh, he's right back in it. Nice, what a race. That was a really good one. Two, one, go. Sentin takes that one. Beautiful. Here we go. Arma versus Arma. 6S versus 6S. Sentin 6S versus Big Rock 6S. And three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Oh my God, the Big Rock absolutely is a lightning bolt out here. An absolute, oh my God, I cannot believe how fast it is out here. It would smash the Max Slash. Goodness! Holy cow! Go. Lap one, oh! Oh, I spun out second, takes race. 
race number two. Well done. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Seth lost it. What a race. Go! I just got shot in the nose with a rock. All right, run for the finish. Oh my God, what a race. That was so good. All right, here we go. Dirt drag race again. Ready, Adam? Ready, Tato? And three, two, one, go! Oh my god, I think the scent had edged that one. That was so close. Tato says scent and he's got the bird's eye view. Go! Oh, I got crooked, scent has got it. Oh yeah, scent has got that one all day. You're looking at me, looking at you, looking at me, and you're gonna get a spin kick. <laughs> oh, it hurts more every time I do that. This thing has been an absolute gem to drive and experience. I'm so happy we got a chance to do this, but there's one thing left for me to do that I haven't done yet. I've got to drive it around this dirt. I just could not die a happy man if I didn't drive a 6S Sentin out here on this dirt, and that's what's going to happen right now. Ooh, yeah. Oh, what a joy this is to drive this truck like this. I never thought I'd drive a 6 s Sentin. I never even thought I'd see one in real life. Other than Sydney's. Oh, oh, now that was just a trick I did on purpose. Ha <laughs> ha I love it. Congratulations to this guy for getting this truck. He beat me in our little bid war and I couldn't be happier about it. It's in better, safer hands with him. I'm sure you guys realize that for what we do to Sentence. Let me just say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Remember, it's not about miles per hour, it's about smiles per mile. And this thing brings the smiles per mile. So have fun and we'll see you in the next one.